Hello, hello, hello. First of all, I gotta say I love my new background here. I don't know what do you guys think. I was kind of getting tired of the plain Jane White. And this is just a little something, but I love it. I kind of like it a lot. I thought I would stop in here and share with you some of my favorite things that I've just recently uploaded into my Etsy shop and some other stuff that I'm working on. Because um, sometimes in a video you see things in a different way than you do in a still picture, right? So um, obviously the first thing are all of my new washies. I love them. There are 13 new designs or styles um, in different widths. So you can see this width is the um, fattest one that I have. This is a thir 30 uh, millimeter. Then the next width, width I have, I can't speak this morning, and I've had three cups of coffee. <clears throat> um, this one is a 20 millimeter. This is the standard, what you see most washi tapes, a 15 millimeter. And then this is the wonderful 10. And I'm going to tell you, you know, when I bought these the last time in, in talking to my uh, friend Dee Dee Katrin, I didn't think I would use the 10 millimeter as much as I do and in the junk journal I'm working in I pull out the blue paint one all the time there's something about that little thin bit and I really love oh I'm missing one here um, I need to go find it um, the other white one the alphabet one um, there's something about the white with the letters and the words on it that I really love. But these are the four sizes, so you can see them here all together. So let's go over the 30 millimeter ones first. There are five new um, designs. So let me get a card here so you can see the full tape in its glory. So there's this one, which is this one on a roll. This one I call, and I'm sorry, but my puppy is in here again, and I should know better than that, but he's, where is he? There he is. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to entice him with treats, and it wasn't working. Um, this one I call Leafy, um, and this the this one is based off of my eco prints, and I've turned it into a washi, and it's amazing. And so that's what this one looks like on the roll. Mm -hmm. There's that one. Then I have this one, which I call Eucalyptus. And this is the one, this is the same uh, uh, eco dye print that I used for the credenza that I ordered from Society6 with my artwork on it. And I'm obsessed. Like the colors are amazing. Um, it's like this yellow, golden, orange color. And this is what it looks like on the roll. But I really, I can see me using this one a lot. Then we have, um, let me get them out here. <clears throat> we have this one, which was based off of some alcohol ink tags that I created um, with some of the stencils that I designed for Stencil Girl. And it's just really fun and funky and kind of random. Um, and this is what it looks like on the roll. And you get some great different patterns and designs here. Then we have <clears throat> this one, black and white with a pop of red. Like you can't go wrong, black, white with a pop of red. Um, this was based off an art journal page that I had done and I just took little snippets of it and kind of blew it up. And I am obsessed with how that turns out and I think I will use this one a lot. And this is what it looks like on the roll. Then the last 30 millimeter is this one, and I was on the fence actually with this one, but I am so happy I ordered it, and I love it. I love it a lot, actually. Um, this one I call Hearts, and again, it was based off of an art journal page. I just took a little snippet of the art journal page, and look at the different uh, pattern that you get on this washi, and this is what it looks like on the roll. That one's Hearts. So that's all the 30 millimeter. So let's talk about the 20. Um, I have these three. So let me get out the cards here. <clears throat> All right, so first up, we have this one. This one was based off of an art journal page of mine as well. 
and it has so many amazing designs total bright colorful I mean that that's a bright washi right there that is a very colorful washi and this is what it looks like on the roll and there is a little heart peeking out here and if you love pinks like it's a, it's it's an awesome awesome roll then we have two from my eco dyed collection so this one I call maple this one's been very popular um, and it was a very small piece of an eco print that I had but I am obsessed with these little purpley magenta pops of color that come out in this neutral base here and this is what it looks like on the washi um, but yeah this one's been pretty popular and I can see why because it's gorgeous like just to layer that down on collage you don't have to do anything but put this down on your paper and you're good to go now it's called maple and then this one um, is rusty rusty something I can't remember now what I called it and again this was off of an eco print but um, a very small section and it's not like a lot of my eco my other eco prints it was with some wire wrapped around so I don't really have the leaves here it was more of the rusty piece of it but if you love this palette color palette this would be the tape for you um, you've got a lot of you know deep beautiful reds and oranges and yellows and blacks with the lines the organic lines that go through it so that's it for the 20 millimeter I'll be right back all right, sorry about that, I'm back. We had a little potty accident on the floor. Um, he's not usually in my art room. We stay kind of in the kitchen, and yeah, I guess he's not potty training the rest of the house. He is only eight months old. He's potty trained. I mean, actually, he that's the first time he's gone in the bathroom in months um, in the house, but I think because it's a new room for him, and maybe he smells moose in here. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about the 15 millimeter tapes that would be these um, so the first one I call um, it's either teal silk or silk teal because this was an eco print that was on some silk fabric um, but I wanted to do something in this teal turquoise green um, color palette and it turned out gorgeous and you see in here the actual texture of the silk fabric and I, I love how that came through actually on the tape itself so that's what it looks like on the roll then we have another one inspired by my eco prints this one I call speckles <clears throat> and it just has some random dark and light shades um, again very neutral base so it would go with um, pretty much any of your collage um, or art journaling or junk journaling pages it's it's kind of an all-purpose one and this is what it looks like on the roll then the last 15 millimeter is another one that is based off an art journal page um, and I wanted to in this uh, release of washies I wanted some really bright colorful ones um, based off of my art journal pages because I tend to art journal in very bright colors um, and I'm, I'm obsessed with how they turned out. So this again is another snippet from it, but you get these little random circles of yellow and, and oranges. And I see a pattern here that I must tend to art journal in those color palettes because we have several with um, some of these colors in it, but the shapes and patterns are completely different. And this is what it looks like here. And this one, I think I call abstract two or abstract three this one here was abstract two this tape here is abstract two and this one is abstract three <clears throat> then lastly but not least we have the two 10 millimeters so I wanted some very basic black and white that could go with any of these you could combine these with anything so the first one um, is based off of so I antique a lot and in one of my trips to the store I found this stack of uh, hand typed papers it was I believe a man's diary um, it could have been a female but it just the way the speak is and everything it sounds like a man from the early 70s I believe so you know at this point 50 years ago um, just talking about life and 
he talks a lot about his love for, I don't know if it's his wife, his girlfriend, his partner, I'm not quite sure. Um, but there was um, one of them, and I use the, I cut out the words a lot because I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, and a page of this is actually in the Art Fragments book um, that's now available on a download. But this quote or this sentence that he had in one of them, I turned into a washi. So um, it starts here, taking the time to love is what it's all about. Um, what makes the clocks turn and the sunsets come true and without complication. There's something about that that I love so much. So I turned it into a washi. So you can use the whole quote as it is. You can cut the different words and make your own sentences out of it. But I thought it would be a really fun tape that you can use with all of the others. So there's that one, and that one, I think it's just called Taking the Time to Love. And then the last one is just a, a basic alphabet, um, and I loved the font from this. It came from a download that I had from, um, I just took the top of a page with the alphabet and used the font, because it's, it's a little bit of a different font, but I really loved it, and it, you know, it's, it's just a basic black and white font. So again, you can make your own words. You could cut up the letters and make your own sentences and words out of it. You can just put a strip of the alphabet right on it, but this one I called alphabet, you know, kind of duh. Um, but that's it. So that is all of the new washies, all 13 of them. Then also in the store, I <clears throat> have been doing a lot of pottery and I think potentially next week. I'm going to have another release update in the store for some brand new um, pottery ideas and concepts that I think you're going to love. I actually pulled them out of the kiln this morning, so I'm going to be updating that into the Etsy store here the next few days. Um, so if you are a watercolorist or a liquid paint medium, you might want to watch that update. Hint, hint. Um, but I make a, I love making lidded pots. Um, these are actually ones I've had on display in my house because I couldn't really bear to get rid of them. But, you know, in this purge mode that I'm in, I've got to start letting stuff go because I'm getting overwhelmed. And because I'm in the house even more, it's, it's almost coming in on me. So, I've decided to let some of my beloved pots go. So these are the only ones that are left because there are have been there have been some that have sold. So what I do a lot of times um, is if I have a pot that the lid for whatever reason didn't ultimately fit, I like taking my kind of assemblage mind and all the stuff that I've accumulated and make it a lid that's kind of funky and cool. So I love combining the ceramic with other materials such as metal and wood because I create I think that creates a great textual and interesting look so these pots are on the store too so these two here the lid you can tell I mean because I've glued a um, metal tin to it, it it you know very gently sits on here I wouldn't I mean these aren't really necessarily for lots of storage I mean this isn't a huge lidded pot but you know, kind of for decoration, and I have them all on a shelf, all my lidded pots on a shelf. So there's this one, and then there's this one too. Um, so you can see the beautiful glaze on here, but I've just glued the top because it kept falling on the inside. This one has a deeper inside to it, um, to this metal, this antique vintage metal, I don't I think it was a curtain rod, um, holder, a tie back or something. Um, so I, you know, adhered everything down with E6000 so it's not going to go anywhere and then put some more funky stuff on the top to, to hold. And this one is very gentle on there so it, it's not, it sits in there but it, it does move. Um, so again this is a pot that, you know, the lid gently sits and it's, it's really for decoration purposes. And then there's this one, which I love, and I almost didn't list it. 
um, but this glaze is incredible. Um, the lid does sit down on this lid, and it is a bigger pot, and you could store stuff in here. It does sit in there, but I took an old vintage thimble and a piece of wood for the handle, so you can see it comes up like this. And I like doing that a lot. I actually have other ones in my personal collection with wood handles on them. I Again, I just love the, the combination of those two. So those are available. Um, these aren't new in the shop, but I still have quite a few different ones. So I thought I'd pop in here and share just a few of them that I have. And these are some of my handmade ceramic buttons, which are great for journals. And I mean, I've had people actually use them on their clothing. Um, and I have all kinds of colors, all kinds of sets, all kinds of sizes. Um, there's several listings for them. So these are just some of them that I pulled out. These ones are all um, $10, but this weekend they are 20% off. All my buttons are 20% off. So, um, you can just see up close and personal kind of what these buttons look like and they're 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 kind of cool so those are available then this is the next two things are going to be impossible to actually show in the field of view of the camera um, so I'm going to have to move it around but these are the tissue papers that I've been designing and I'm telling you these are so cool and so unique and I don't know if anyone's got things like this out there and I this one um, I've been obsessed using it. I used it several times over in my junk journal um, but I call this one dust bowl because the imagery is kind of from that age um, in the 1920s or 30s or whenever the dust bowl was 40s 50s not 50s um, but the imagery is incredible and it looks fantastic when you collage it down and that's why I did tissue paper because it's such a great collage medium but you can see this tree is so awesome look so like one of my favorite things to do is paint like a sunset colored uh, on the background and collage this over so it looks like the sunset's peeking through the tissue because when you collage tissue down that's what happens um, but there's this one so this is a 15 by 20 sheet of tissue and then my latest one um, is much larger it's a 20 by 30 so here's one half of it and these are all of my carved December stamps not all of them most of them from this recent December that I've turned into tissue and I've also changed up the sizes so you can see this one here is smaller but yet this one's bigger I put repeats so you see multiple eyes um, let's see what else I've got the little boat here on this size and then there's another little teeny boat here um, different sizes of the circles this yes no so you've got this side of the tissue, but on the on the so it's not on the other side. It's actually one big sheet of tissue here, but over on this side, it's the same images, but outlined. So um, and it's kind of hard to see here. I thought it would be so cool to collage this down and I've left you space to color it in however you want to color it in or you could zentangle inside this so how cool would it be to zentangle inside the tree or a zentangle inside this bottom here or just doodle your own little um, shapes and colors um, inside here let me spread this out a little bit inside these images so that's why I did this side as an outline and this side is a solid black so it kind of depends but you get both on this sheet and again it's a 20 by 30 sheet it's ginormous so I haven't had a chance to play with it because it literally just got here but that is on my agenda for this weekend is to play with these so those are the tissues um, next, so because I love stamp carving so much and I try to participate every December for Card December, um, Dee Dee Catron and I decided, because she was just as inspired, to keep going for 2021. So we've called it Stamp Lab 
and we had gone out and asked for your suggestions for prompts for stamping ideas and so we took those we have a document and every week we take turns selecting one so this week was my pick and I picked uh, moon phases um, so this is my stamp um, based on that prompt and this is what it looks like stamped down um, so every Friday we're going to reveal a new prompt and we're going to reveal our new stamp carving and then we're asking if you can play along with this so take the carving so for example the one that from this Friday it's moon phases carve your own interpretation of moon phases share it on Instagram Facebook and make sure you hashtag stamp lab and you tag Dee, Dee and myself because what we will do once a month will take all of the tags and for Stamp Lab and where you've tagged us we will take all of them and randomly select two people um, so one person will get a selection of their choice of my stamps and one person will get a selection of their choice from DD stamps and we will recreate um, another hand carved stamp for you so and we will recreate it to the best of our ability. Um, it's not going to be the exact thing because no two hand carved stamps are exact. But we thought it would be a fun way to kind of keep this going through 2021. So make sure you watch both of our spaces for our stamps. So this is the first one for my stamp lab. And then the last thing, and this is just a hint. Um, a hint of something that Dee Dee and I have coming in the pipeline so stay tuned it'll probably not be revealed for a few weeks maybe two three weeks um, we still have things that are en route to us but we're going to do a joint um, reveal and this is what I'm just going to show you um, I can't say anything else but this is the hint um, so just stay tuned for that and that is all I have today. I'm gonna go create some art. What are you gonna do? Thanks for watching. Bye bye.